Hi, I'm Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools. Here at Infinity, we get asked a lot of questions about maintaining joiners and planers and how to choose the right replacement knives for these machines. Here at Infinity, we carry both high-speed steel and carbide tip knives for just about any machine you might have in your shop, including knives for the very popular DeWalt 734 and 735 planers. Today, I want to give you some of my best tips and tricks on how to maintain these machines to get the best possible performance out of them, as well as how to choose which knives are right for you, whether they be high-speed steel or carbide tipped. Let's take a look. Probably the most common question we get asked is what's the difference between a high-speed steel and a carbide tip knife and why would I choose one versus the other? High-speed steel is easy to maintain. It's a very economical option and it holds an edge very well and you're going to see better performance out of an infinity high-speed steel knife than you will an OEM knife. Carbide tipped, on the other hand, while it's a bigger investment, will hold an edge significantly longer than any steel knife. In fact, it'll hold an edge up to 10 times longer than a standard steel knife. The disadvantages are a little bit more difficult to sharpen. You may need some special equipment such as a diamond stone or diamond files, but they're gonna maintain that edge for a much longer period of time. So if you don't like to do maintenance on your machines, a carbide tip knife may be a great choice. If you have a machine that uses an index style knife that has multiple holes or notches in it to locate it in your machine, that you know the exact model of the machine that you're buying knives for. These knives are typically proprietary to a specific model of machine and they're not interchangeable. This is also important to know because these knives are typically not adjustable, which is what makes them so easy to install and replace. However, it means that you're typically not able to resharpen these knives. This can make a big difference when it's time to choose knives. Oftentimes, an inexpensive knife will end up costing you a lot more money in the long run because you'll have to replace it much more frequently. Whereas a carbide tip knife for a machine like the DeWalt 735, in the long run, even though it's more expensive, can save you a significant amount of money because you'll buy many fewer knives to keep your machine up and running. Straight knife machines use exactly that, what we would consider a straight knife. These knives don't have any holes in them and they rely on the user to set their height when they've been removed and sharpened. The great thing about these knives is they can be sharpened many times because the height of the knife can be adjusted within the machine. However, they can cause a significant amount of downtime because they're more labor intensive to readjust once they've been removed. There are some great jigs and fixtures that make this job easy and I'll show you those in a few minutes. But it's nice to be able to know that you can resharpen these knives several times and get a lot of life out of them. This makes something like a carbide tipped or a high quality high speed steel straight knife a great investment. Another common question we get asked is, should I do any maintenance to my new knives before I install them in my machine? The short answer is no, the knives should be ready to go right out of the box. But if you wanted to do just a little bit of work to get the absolute sharpest edge out of your knives, you can always take one of those knives and a diamond credit card stone and simply wipe the flat of that knife. This will remove any potential burr on the cutting edge and get those knives super sharp for your machine. This same method can be used on index style knives to renew a dulling edge. We can use the diamond credit card file, just wiping it down the flat side of the knife to bring back an edge. Because these knives are fixed in height, we can't regrind them, but this is a great way to get some extra life out of your index knives to fit in your planer like the DeWalt 734 and 735. Getting a nick in a brand new set of nice sharp knives can really be annoying, but there's a trick to eliminate those tracks made by the nicks in the knives. If you take one of the knives in the cutter head and move it slightly to the right or to the left, this will offset the nicks that typically happen in all the knives in the cutter head and allow 
one knife to remove that little piece of material that the previous knife missed. This is a great solution for just about any straight knife machine and also most index knife machines allow this as well. Oftentimes a dirty knife will act as a dull knife so if you keep the knives in your machines clean you can get a lot more use out of them and they'll perform better. I like to use Bowshield's bit and blade cleaner to keep my knives clean. It works great on joiner and planer knives as well as saw blades and router bits. If you've got stubborn buildup that won't simply wipe away, I like to use either a brass bristle brush or a toothbrush to clean those knives after I've sprayed them with the bit and blade cleaner. This makes cleaning the knives very easy. Eventually, the knives in your machine are going to get dull and have to be resharpened. To do some standard maintenance in your machine, a diamond knife hone can be a great choice. It's going to allow you to hone the knives while they're in your machine so you're not going to have to remove them. It has a pair of stones to sharpen both the back and the bevel of the knife. We have a video on how to use this diamond knife hone so be sure to check that out. If you need to remove the knives from your machine to resharpen them, a Doolin knife sharpening jig may be the perfect solution. It comes in two different sizes, one for joiner knives and one for planer knives up to 15 inches long. It holds the knives at the correct 45 degree angle so that you can resharpen the bevel on your knives. For high speed steel knives, you can use wet dry sandpaper on a piece of glass or other flat surface to do your sharpening, but for carbide knives, you're going to need something like a DMT diamond stone. This will allow you to re-grind those carbide tip knives to get a perfect sharp edge. Once you have your knives sharpened, it's time to reinstall them in the machine. With index knives, it's just a simple matter of dropping them in place and tightening down the screws. For straight knives, you're going to have to set the knife's height in the machine. To do this on a joiner can be very easy with a joiner knife setting jig. This references off the outfeed table of the joiner and holds the knife by a pair of magnets perfectly in place so that you can tighten down the screws and lock that knife in place. For planers, a set of planer knife setting jigs can be a great choice because it allows you to set the knife's height in the machine and dial in the perfect setting. It also has magnets on it that will hold the knife so you can install your knives from either above or below, making it really easy in some of these really tight tools to get the knives set correctly. Hopefully this video has helped you to choose the right replacement knives for your machine and also given you a few tips on keeping them performing to their fullest potential. If you have any questions regarding knives for your machines or equipment that can help you keep them maintained, be sure to give us a call or shoot us an email. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great information on the tools we use and the projects we make here in the Infinity Tool Shop and check out our blog. Also, give us a like on Facebook to stay up to date on what's happening here at Infinity.